sun damage uh, concerns me a lot more now than I did growing up. Uh, I find the sun rays are a lot stronger and both my girls are very fair skinned so when they go outside and they play I'm noticing that they come back especially my youngest one and she's been burned. There are two types of UV rays that reach the earth, UVA rays and UVB rays. UVB rays lead to sunburn. UVA rays, which account for up to 95% of the UV radiation that reaches the earth's surface, can lead to the premature aging of the skin. Also, they can penetrate through clouds and glass. Having exposure to either one can lead to skin cancer later in life. Having a severe sunburn in childhood or adolescence can double the risk of melanoma later in life. When I was younger, tans were very in. I mean, you wanted to get as much sun as you could. Uh, now I start to see the effects on my skin, especially as I get older. When I'm outside, I do a lot of cycling and running, uh, or even in the car with the sunroof, I find that I'm getting burned. So the, therefore, the need for me to apply the sunscreen beforehand is really important. Uh, I use a 30 SPF minimum on my face, and so I find a good practice is to make sure that I'm wearing that sunscreen all the time. Early synthetic sunscreens were first used in 1928, and the first major commercial product was brought to the market in 1936. There are two types of compounds in sunscreen. Some are chemical, and those absorb UV light. Then there are physical compounds like titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, which physically reflect the UV rays. When I look for a sunscreen, I definitely look for something that's effective, um, that's suitable for sensitive skin types for my children, and also that's high in SPF. Just because a sunscreen has a higher SPF value does not indicate that you're more protective. SPF indicates your protection against UVB rays and not UVA rays, meaning that two sunscreens with the same SPF value can offer very different UVA protection. And you want a sunscreen that offers both UVA and UVB protection. I find it really confusing when I go to the drugstore and I look for a sunscreen. There's so many products available, and I'm not quite sure, quite frankly, what to look for in a product. In 1986, Anthelios by La Roche-Posay was the first brand to include some UVA filters in its sun protection formulas, and today is the number one brand most recommended by dermatologists in Canada using the UVA filtering system Mexoril. Look for a sun protection product that says broad spectrum. This indicates that it has both UVA and UVB protection. In 1977, water-resistant sunscreens were first introduced for the benefits of swimming. Sunscreen should be reapplied at least every two hours. Use a water-resistant sunscreen if swimming or sweating and reapply after 40 or 80 minutes and reapply immediately after towel drying. Three areas that people always forget to apply sunscreen to are the ears, neck and hands. Also, you must apply sunscreen 15 minutes before going out into the sun. If I'm when the kids are out, I always make sure that they've got their hats on as much as they don't like to wear them. It's kind of a necessity now. Um, when they're uh, playing a lot of sports and sweating, especially when they're in the water now, I find I'm reapplying the sunscreen a lot more often. And I certainly pay attention now a lot more to the weather reports. And if the uh, UVs are really high that day, I make sure that they're staying inside during those peak times. Spending time in the sun increases your chances of early skin aging and skin cancer. To decrease this risk, regularly use a sunscreen with a broad spectrum SPF value of 15 or higher. Limit your time in the sun and wear protective clothing like long sleeve shirts and pants. Also wear hats and sunglasses. When I know that I've applied sunscreen consistently with my kids and we're practicing healthy sun habits, I worry less knowing that my kids are well protected from the sun. To find out more about how you can protect your skin from the sun, go to betterlivingtv.ca forward slash behind the SPF.